Hello out there to you. In this video, we're going to use Excel or any spreadsheet program. You could do this in Google Sheets also uh, to solve this monopoly problem. So a couple things we need to recognize here. The word monopolist it means a firm with a monopoly or a firm with some kind of pricing power or monopoly power. Um, and we have sales, which is the quantity. We have a price. Uh, and then if it lowers the price, it's going to sell more total revenue. So one thing we want to recognize is that the formula for total revenue is whatever our price is times our quantity. Okay, uh, so that's going to help. Okay, so I'm going to make a um, uh, little spreadsheet here where price and then quantity and then total revenue. Okay, this way, if your problem is is similar but uses different numbers, you can uh, set this up. Basically using algebra, we're having the uh, Excel do this for us. Okay, So first we want to put in the price when the price was $8. And if you'd like, you can change that to money. Then we sold 22 units. Okay, Now our total revenue, we're going to use this formula right here. So we're going to put in a, a, a function. So you hit the equal sign and you hit this times this so price times quantity those cells hit enter that's 176 dollars because eight dollars times 22 is 176. now it says it lowers the price to seven dollars and total revenue increases by 20. so what we're going to do is we're going to hit equals we're going to take this total revenue we're going to add 20 dollars to that okay so that would be 196. you could do that in your head but this is just how to get the spreadsheet to do it for you um, then because uh, total revenue is price times quantity. If I know total revenue and I know price, then I can uh, just divide the total revenue by the quantity, uh, or sorry, total revenue by the price, and that'll give me the quantity rather. So hit equals, take this total revenue and divide it by the price. And it tells you that you sold 28. The question actually says this implies that its sales of quantity increases by, so it's just the difference between these two, which is six. But if you wanted to know, uh, if you want to have the spreadsheet do it, you could do difference, which would be equals this minus this. Okay, and it's an increase of six. And if it if it went decrease, then it would have been a, a negative by six. And that's how to use Excel to solve that sort of problem.